If your iPhone is stuck on the Apple logo or this keeps flashing or looping over and over again, I'm gonna show you two ways where you could solve this problem. And it depends which model of the iPhone you have. There's three scenarios, so I'll point those out. So regardless of what iPhone you have, one of these should work for you. So the very first option is called a hard reboot. So depending on which iPhone you have, you could follow along here. On any iPhone that is newer than iPhone 10, all you have to do is press volume up quickly, volume down quickly, and press and hold the side button here. Now you shouldn't get this page. It should just restart your phone if you do that. That's called a hard reboot. Mine wasn't actually stuck on the Apple logo, but if it was, you just keep pressing this down after you press volume up, volume down, and your phone should just basically turn off. You shouldn't see the Apple logo after that happens, so you should get a blank page. If you have an iPhone 7, what you need to do is press volume down and hold the side button here too. You would just hold these two and it should reboot your phone. Just keep holding those. And on older, older iPhone, iPhone 6 or older, you just again hold the side button and the home button at the same time. And that will do what's called a hard reboot. And that in some cases will solve your problem. But there's one more thing I need to show you. Now, sometimes you restart your phone that way, you press on, it comes on and it's still stuck on the Apple logo. So in those scenarios, you'll have to plug in your phone physically with the charging cable to a PC or a Mac. I'm gonna plug into the Mac, but it works for Windows PC too. And then you'll have to press a couple of buttons on your phone again to get the restore page. I'll show you how that works. So first, you'll need to plug in your phone physically just with the charging cable to a computer. So I'm gonna do that step first here. Now what you need to do is put this in restore mode. So it's the same exact option as restarting it with this plugged in. So for my iPhone here, I'll press volume up, volume down, and press and hold on the side here. And it should bring me into the restore mode. This is basically the page you need to get to. So if you don't see it, you just didn't hold this long enough. So again, volume up, volume down, press and hold till you finally get to this page. Again, with older iPhones, you'll press volume down and side button and with the very old ones, home button and the side button here. If you have a Mac computer that's newer than Catalina, the operating system Catalina, the finder window, basically just this finder window, will show you something that looks like this, where you could update your phone. This is gonna try to fix your problem here without actually deleting everything, but make sure you read this because they do change how this works from time to time. So it says if the update doesn't work, it will be necessary to restore your phone. If you press restore, it actually deletes everything on your phone, but you could bring anything back if you have a backup on iCloud. If you haven't backed up your phone and you press restore, you will lose everything. So make sure you understand that. Try the update first, see if that solves your problem. If it doesn't, do a restore and then use your backup from iCloud. Basically, you'll get a new phone if you press this, but it will get you out of that mode. If you have an older Mac, you will need to open this application called iTunes. On newer Macs, it's just called Music. So I'll put a link to the iTunes webpage. On Windows as well, you need iTunes. iTunes basically shows your iPhone on the side here the same way I just showed you. And you will click your iPhone on the side of iTunes and you will get the same exact page and it works the exact same way. Update, tries to fix the problem, restore, erases your phone, but then you could restore your phone from an iCloud backup, again, if it's backed up already. And once you do that, it will restart your phone and it should hopefully work. If it doesn't work, the Apple tech support may be your only solution if you've tried these two options. But I hope this solved your problem. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video.